This will be an example of a face milling cycle on your Miltronics 9000 control. So for this example, we have a piece of stock that's 6 inches by 4 inches by 2 inches thick. And this corner is going to be X0, Y0. So let's look at our program. The first event, we define our solid model stock size. Then we have our tool change event. We're going to be using tool number 5, which is a 3 quarter inch end mill. 500 RPM clockwise spindle direction. Now we're going to insert the face milling cycle. So F6 insert, F2 mill, F6 pocket. When you choose pocket, you're going to see this drop down arrow. Select that, and you have these choices of whatever geometry your pocket is, whether it be a circle, rectangle, polygon, slot, or facing. Let's choose facing. Z pierce feed rate, that's going to be in inches per minute. So we'll give it 100 inches per minute. Return point, we're going to set that at our clearance, which is going to be 0.1 because Z0 is the top of the part, so we'll be 100 thou above. And then it's going to ask you for your final depth of your facing cycle. Final depth to be negative 250 thousandths. Our first depth, negative 100 thousandths. What's your depth increment? We'll say 100 thousandths increment. XY feed rate. So at what speed are you going to be milling across an X and Y? We'll say 35 inches per minute. Now what's the pocket center? X0 is the left edge of our part and it's 6 inches wide. So X center would be 3. And what's the Y center? Y0 is the back edge and the part would be 4 inches wide. So negative 2 would be the pocket center. What's our pocket dimension? Our plate is 6 inches wide and we want to face the entire top. We'll say 8 inches by 4 and a half, just to give enough overlap to clean up the whole part. What's your cut width? We'll say we're going to go with the half inch width of cut. The comp is on. Select F1 store. Now press escape twice until you see preview. Preview your toolpath. So there you see your toolpath faced off the whole part with a half inch width of cut. Now if you decide a half inch width of cut is too wide, let's say you have to make it smaller. Press escape. You're right back to your facing event. Select F1 edit. Change your cut width. Let's put our cut width to 125 thousandths. F1 store and F11 preview. And now you see a much smaller width of cut, but it still faces the entire dimension that we told it. The 8 inches by 4.5. And, and it goes to a depth of negative 250. So that's a nice way to face off the top of your part. Very simple and user friendly.